In part A of this experiment, we're going to be performing an extraction of caffeine using methylene chloride. And we first need to add approximately 70 milligrams of caffeine to a screw cap centrifuge tube. The mass of caffeine that we will be using is 0 0.0719 grams. I've added our caffeine to the centrifuge tube, so we're now going to add 4.0 milliliters of deionized water to our centrifuge tube. And we'll need to shake our tube for several minutes until the caffeine has completely dissolved. All of the caffeine has dissolved in our water, so we'll now perform our first extraction by adding two milliliters of methylene chloride to our centrifuge tube and mixing thoroughly for about one minute. You should also vent your centrifuge tube to release any pressure when performing extractions. Once mixed thoroughly, place your centrifuge tube back in the rack and allow the layers to separate completely. Once the layers have completely separated, we'll transfer the bottom organic layer to a clean test tube using a pasture pipette. We'll now repeat this extraction two more times using two milliliters of fresh methylene chloride each time. We've collected our three two milliliter extractions of methylene chloride in a test tube. And you can see now that we just have one layer, which is our organic layer of methylene chloride in our test tube. And we're now going to completely dry our organic layer using anhydrous sodium sulfate. and we'll add anhydrous sodium sulfate to our organic layer until the sodium sulfate is free flowing and no longer clumps. This will indicate that our organic layer has been completely dried. Now you can see that our anhydrous sodium sulfate is free flowing in our test tube and is not clumping. This indicates that our organic layer is completely dry. We'll now set our test tube in the rack and stopper it and allow it to continue drying for a period of about 10 to 15 minutes. While our methylene chloride solution continues to dry, we need to pre-weigh a 10 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. The mass of our 10 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask is 14.8452 grams. We will now make a filter tip pipette, which can be used to remove a small amount of solid from a volume of liquid. Now the filter tip pipette is similar to a filtering pipette, except we will be using a much smaller portion of cotton and we'll place this cotton in the open end of our pasture pipette. We'll then use a very thin copper wire to push the cotton all the way down to the end of our pipette tip. And this is one way to make a filter tip pipette. 
we'll next use our filter tip pipette to transfer the dried methylene chloride to our pre-weighed 10 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask while leaving the sodium sulfate. We then need to evaporate off the methylene chloride in our 10 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask in a hot water bath. We're now evaporating the methylene chloride from our 10 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask in a hot water bath and we're aiding the evaporation using a stream of air. We've evaporated all of the methylene chloride from our 10 ml Erlenmeyer flask. So at this point, we will weigh the flask to determine the amount of caffeine that was in our methylene chloride. The mass of our 10 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask and the caffeine is 14.9084 grams. You can now determine the amount of caffeine that was in the methylene chloride. This concludes part A of this experiment.